How many credit cards should you have? Definitely one, maybe two, or three, with higher numbers, justified under exceptional circumstances. Back in 1985, a business trip got extended by a couple of days. After getting into the train at Derg, then Madhya Pradesh, now Chhattisgar, railway station, I realized that I was short of INR 1000 for the AC2 tier ticket back to the then Bombay. I saved the day with a loan I got from a stranger Good Samaritan co-traveler. I realized the need for a credit card that day and promptly applied for one when I got back home. The first time that card got declined due to technical reasons, I realized the need for a standby credit card. I applied for one and got it around 1990. From that day until today, I have diligently followed the two credit card policy in India and wherever else I have lived in the world. There are many benefits of having multiple credit cards, including, you qualify for a higher line of credit, which can be very useful to meet medical emergencies. Silicon Valley folklore is full of stories of startups founded by entrepreneurs who raised seed capital of a couple of hundred thousand dollars by maxing out 10 to 15 credit cards. The above list is by no means exhaustive, but these are the two benefits of having multiple credit cards that I find key.